Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So in the previous video, we have successfully mocked the child component, right? So but still what we can see is, so we don't know, we haven't actually tested that whether the components what we have seen, the child components are actually creating or not. So that means what I want to tell you is, for example, here we are having the post. Let's say that we are having three posts. So we are having the three posts means, so we need to be make sure that three app post the components child component should be created why because so we are looping over the post thing and we are creating the three child components if the post length is three so we need to test it that if the posts are the length is there so actually those many app post child components are correctly creating or not we need to check it so we can also we can also do those type of things so we have we already learned about the debug element and all those things and we can traverse through the template so when the post data is updated, we need to check that actual the post length and also this div, this for loop, this div length is equal or not. So if this div length and the post length are equal, the count is equal means then we, can, we will be make sure we will be sure that this app post the components are created. So let's try to test this one. So for testing this one, what I need to do is so here it's a simple. So here what is the test I need to write it? It should create one post okay so it should create one post element okay or one post child element sorry element for each post it should create only one post child element for each post so now here i can do like this and let's mock this one so here what is the mock I am doing here mock post service and I am doing this get post. So whenever the user calls this get post, so the post data will be updated. So that means we will call that fixture dot detect changes. Now the post data, the component dot post data will be get updated. So now the, the post data, we have the post data. Whenever we call this fixture dot detect changes, the state will be updated and automatically these app posts. So those many post count, the app post has to be created. Let's try to test it. So in order to traverse the template, what we need to do? So we need to get the debug element. So debug element is equal to fixture dot debug element. So we got the debug element and we need to go get the post element. So here what I can do? Debug element dot this time what I can do, I can do query all. This time I need to do the query all, not the query. So query gives you only the single node, whereas the query all will give you all the nodes that are match with, matching with the particular element. So here I need to match this div. So let's try to create a class with the name post. Okay. So now what I can do here, I can use by it should be imported from the angular platform browser by css of and i can use this one post as this one is a class i can do with the dot post that's it so we got the post element total count of the total number of post element and we can do that expect okay what i can do post element dot length to be so how many posts are there so we can say something like posts okay these are the posts right post dot length we can use this post dot length so these many should be there so that means it should be equal to three or something like that so now if i try to check the output if i try to check the output see it is successfully got executed it should create one post child element for, for each post for each post so that means so e for each post one post child element is successfully creating for example if i try to do if I try to write two, okay. Now the post element, let's try to check it. So if I try to test it here, it's expected three to be two. So we are getting expected three, but we uh, actually we are getting three, but we are checking it with the two. So now what we need to do? So we need to expect it with the post dot length itself, okay. So that's it. So now we have successfully traversed the post dot component dot HTML. And also we have checked that actually how many post elements are there, those many child components should be created. So for, because of that one, we have tested that one using the debug element. And also we have used this 
query all and by dot css okay so this is how we will be traversing through the m template and also how injecting the uh, mocking the child component and also the mocking the service so this is like this is how we will be doing this one this is all called as a shallow integration test why because we are testing the single component with its template so we are not checking the deep integration test that's something like the component and also its child components we are not testing it like that we are testing only the component with its template only so if any dependencies are there means we are mocking out from the next video onwards what we will try to do is we will try to test the deep integration test so if any deep uh, child components is there means so then also we want to check this deep uh, child components also how we can do let's try to uh, do it in the from the next video onwards hope you understood about this one so the uh, like this so what we have learned so let's recap this one so we have learned how to mock the child component like this so we have created a dummy child component and also here we have mocked the post service so that this post component has a dependencies of one child component that is nothing but app post single post component and also another one is in post service if you go to the post dot component dot ts here you are having the post service so these two things we have mocked it using the create spy object and also using the mock component so this is how we will be creating the mock component if you want to mock the component means this is how you will be creating and we have declarations we have added it in the declarations previously for the for this one you had it in the providers the component so now we need to uh, test the template also because of that reason we have added it in the declarations so we have added the providers use value and use class and here we have created testbed.create component so that we will return we will get the component fixture so we will get the component fixture this component fixture is a wrapper which contains the component instance and also the debug element native element to traverse the elements these all things we are having so in order to get the component instance we got the component here so fixture dot detect changes what it will try to do it will do the it will call the ng on in it whenever you will be do whenever you are making change of any component properties or anything whenever the state is get updated so you need to call the fixture dot detect changes then only the state will be updated in the template also then only you can check the changes in the template otherwise you cannot check those changes so if you are you are updating the property variable and you want to che check that whether the template is reflected the data is reflected or not you want to check in the template means it will not get reflected so you need to call the detect changes there is also some other option something like auto detect changes and all those things so those things will work for promises these all asynchronous operations these all things it, it will auto detect but if you are changing manually directly synchronously means so you need to run the picture dot detect changes so now we have added this one also this is the debug element and native element also we have learned so these are all the things what we have learned so from next video onwards what we'll try to do is we'll try to learn about the deep integration test so by this you hope you understood about this test bed and all those things so you need to have a clear clear idea the test bed concept is very important concept in angular unit testing so without knowing the test bed we cannot do the component testing and all those things so hope you understood about this test bed concept and all those things if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you